I am abducting Mike from countycom.com. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into today's episode where me and Mike are roaming around Sunnyvale, California, I want to take a moment to give a major shout out, major shout out to Mike, because our second collab with countycom.com is well underway. These are spring bars, the good ones. Uh, Countycom has the good ones in uh, sizes 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 millimeters, but more importantly, the 1.8 millimeters in diameter, which is the important thing, which is the distinguishing factor of these, making them the good ones. Now, Mike has been very generous, almost too generous. He's given me, as you saw in that little intro, a grip of these. Ah, Mike, I don't have anywhere to put these things. I guess I could put them in storage. Or even better yet, we could do a good old fashioned County Com hobby of ours giveaway. Spring bar set. 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 I couldn't help but insert that little bit of Oprah Winfrey into uh, today's episode. But uh, stay tuned to the end of the episode where you'll be given the phrase that pays in order to jump in the contest, in order to jump in on the pylon of the major giveaway of all of these spring bars because I can't possibly use all of them. So why not share the love, share the hobby of ours and get some out to you. And uh, you know, so grateful to Mike for coming along the ride, for collabing with me. And I just, I rang him up, I'm like, Mike, there is no place where any one of us out here in Watchdom can go to get known good spring bars. There's always the random spring bar sets on Amazon, eBay, etc. But you never know if they're any friggin' good. But these ones are indeed the good ones. And you can trust them and rely on them. And he's given you the, the five different sizes, the key sizes, 10 of each. So basically five sets per size. You're never gonna need to look anywhere else for quality spring bars uh, other than countycom.com. So very grateful to him for that. And without further ado, let's go for a ride. Welcome back to this hobby of ours. I am on the run like a son of a gun. Skipped my hometown, went to Los Angeles, kicked it up north to San Francisco, and now I am in beautiful downtown Sunnyvale, California. What is so important about Sunnyvale, California? It is the home of countycom.com, and I have legit absconded with Mike from Countycom for a bit of fun, a bit of lunch, and a bit of yap. It's uh, great to have you on the show today, my brother. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I haven't, uh, it's been like two years since I come up to see you the first time. So overdue for a visit, took a tour of the secret facilities. Dang, man. I don't know, you guys hiring, maybe I'll move up here and help you with your warehousing and order fulfillment. The Hobby of Hours Annex of CountyCon.com. We'll get you into the back cave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I can't show you any footage because it is super secret, but we are going to talk about some upcoming items that he's excited about releasing. And wristwatch check. I am, of course, wearing the LSA Titanium, and he has got his new release. What is that? That's a compass, but it's... It's an heirloom got... compass uh, in a watch format. No. Uh, for those of us who don't always need to check their wrists, but I'm not no. saying you shouldn't. Um, so it's just a new new style of things. I guess you could wear a watch on one side and a compass on the other. Dude, that's you... perfect for hiking. I need to. Is that when when does that go live? Uh, probably in the next couple weeks. Okay. Um, it will be up on the site soon. All right. Yeah, I, uh, I I envision one of those being shipped, bought, paid for, and shipped to the home office of Hobby of Ours. That's pretty cool. I used to do more hiking when I lived in LA, uh, chiefly like the Santa Monica Mountains. And I almost died once in Malibu in full view of mansion. So I would not have needed a compass there. <laughs> but that for, you know, I guess I'm a hobbyist hiker. I don't know, I love it. And at a quick glance, it just looks like a watch. And yeah. you're like, oh, 
There's nothing inside, and you can see right through the whole thing. You can lay it. You can probably you lay, can lay it down on a map. map. You can flip it over too. Uh, it works either way. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of hold it yeah. up. And yeah, you can hold it up. Put it up to the camera. Give a give a little taste. Yeah. Of the county com goodness. And uh, have you have you set pricing on that just yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. It will be north of two hundred. Oh, all right. But uh, titanium dual sapphire lenses. Oh, right on. And uh, over a year in production. Wow, that's gonna be rad. Put me down for one. So it should be countycomtitanium.com. We have a mutual love of that oh so special metal. Oh yeah. What uh, what drove your passion for it? Because it's, um, it's I don't a know. thing. I, when I heard the term God's metal for the first time, okay, I think that did it for me. Um, I was like, yeah, there is no other perfect metal that's ultra lightweight, ultra strong. Yeah. And semi reasonable to buy in raw form. <laughs> well, I mean, cutting it is another thing. Yes. But yeah, it's. A lot of people complain about titanium watches. I don't. I love them. I think part of it is. I mean, for them, the haters of titanium watches yeah. are, oh, it feels light. And it's. Uh, why would you want something that's just heavy? Cause a it's, brick on your wrist. You ever try on the Platinum Daytona just for fun? Oh, just, that's you, heavy. You have to. It's just yeah. for fun. It's absurd. I love titanium. I think part of it is the gunmetal gray coloration. Uh, certainly, I love that colorway. Yeah. But lightweight and I mean, purpose built. I don't see a tungsten watch uh, mm. like as being a common thing just due to pure weight and yeah. also machining, once yeah. again, is a problem. How do you machine, because it is not easy machining that into the side, right? That is not. That is a whole separate process. On a, Diamond bits? What do they use for that? The tungsten carbide bits. Oh, wow. And they wear out much quicker than uh, just machining aluminum or steel or bronze. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, the replacement costs a little higher. But uh, uh, definitely worth worth it. Yeah. And the uh, machining time is also a little bit longer because you can't hmm. go as fast because okay. it will bog up. And... Uh, but yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. Right on. So now that I've got Mike more or less trapped in my rental car and we're cruising around Sunnyvale, I wanted to, I mean, if you follow the channel, you know I've been a fan of Counting Com for years. My buddy G Money turned me on to Counting Com. The first thing I ever bought was the Embassy Pen. It, I still sneak it onto planes every flight. I love it. They can't say no because it's, it's just a pen. And uh, I think that in the very early stages of the channel like I've been around for three years now I remember joking out of hand like because we were reviewing some some gear and I was like oh one day they'll be a sponsor and now they are yes. well, ma'am. <laughs> so such a pleasure to have you uh, you know supporting the channel we have our discount code that is in the description of every uh, one of our videos so Mike's been very generous with extending that to us we're very grateful and wanted to hear a little bit about the background, like how you got brought into County Comb, because you've been in there for 25 years now? Uh, is tw it? 20, 21 years. And the company is 34? 30, oh, 34 in October. 34 in October. Yep. So you've been on the block for quite a while. And uh, so give us a little bit of background on that. It started as a family owned and operated uh, company. And then there was a, and started in Santa Clara, California. Okay. And there was a lot of, uh, Undercover work is primary uh, business uh, for the company itself before offering products. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of ham radio uh, actually goes back to the pager era oh, wow. of uh, undercover uh, uh, recording devices and uh, working with the county. For the man. For the man. So then uh, I came in and uh, I was like, we need to carry products for the cops and the FBI oh. and everybody who's coming in. And so right on. it just started from a few things and really expanded to over 600 products now. So uh, just a slow process over the years. One of the things I enjoy doing, with, chiefly with my buddy G, uh, we look at the stuff on the website or in person, and we try to figure out what the government bought it for. Because when you sell it to us, it's been more or less a repurposed functionality for the public, but we don't know what the man is doing with it it's yeah. a, and you can't say he wouldn't say it's i'm sure you're under ndas in business but it's just it's a fun pastime to figure out what what the man is doing with some of the stuff we've had all sorts of products that are like from just looking at it by itself with no context you're like i don't know what this is we've had a titanium overstock rem 
before on the site, mm -hmm. and uh, it was actually the front end of uh, bomb robot uh, heads uh, <laughs> for detonation devices, and we <laughs> just by themselves. No context. We just said overstock REM, government surplus. They sold out in a heartbeat. That's so. But people funny. probably still don't know until now yeah. what they were uh, buying. Uh, we I remember. I remember the. Rippers. I remember the parts that go to a bomb disposal robot. Yep, the grippers. Th yeah, they, yeah, that was really funny. Uh, but I also like the the Memento Mori one-off skulls that periodically get made, and that chest set. Oh, yeah. That titanium chess set makes me want to take up chess. <laughs> we need to get a board for that. That would be awesome. Yeah, a little mini board for the little yeah, mini chess maybe, set. Maybe a little mini board that holds the pieces. Ooh, yes. That could be done. That could be done. That'd be rad. That would be amazing. Because, I mean, I think it's... Is it the queen that is a secret capsule? Uh, so we make the larger chess pieces, and yeah. those are capsules. We have queen and king. Queen, okay. We're going to be making all the sizes in capsules. Oh, right uh, on. capsule form. So the larger form. The larger form. So you're going to have the rook and uh, the pawn and everything okay. else. Are those uh, going to be titanium or? Oh, titanium and okay. ultim. We're going to start with titanium, and ultim will follow. Oh, later. what is ultim? Is that is that cousin of Delrin? It is similar to Delrin, but it is a very hard uh, industrial grade plastic uh, that has uh, quite a, a amber opacity to it. It kind of looks like uh, from Jurassic Park. You yeah, see yeah. the uh, you see the mosquito inside, yeah. so it has that very similar honey color to it. Yeah, I have a pen in that. I just didn't know that was the material name yeah. of it. That's kind of cool. It's incredibly hard material, uh, machines beautifully. And you can make almost anything out of it, except for like a knife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, sharp edges. Yeah. yeah, sharp edges are the only uh, weakness to it. But uh, hmm. beautiful stuff. Yeah. So, do you want to talk about the upcoming watch releases? Is there anything on the watch radar that, or is that like a down the road thing? We do have a GMT coming. Woo, uh, woo. It, it is on the hush hush, but uh, oh. it has not officially been announced in any capacity but we're aiming for like february 2025 we might even put some pictures on the site put a mm -hmm. wait list something of that nature That'd be rad. but it is going to be high end and it is going to be spectacular and i can validate that because i have held the prototype we just can't show it yet i guess, I guess it is technically embargoed because it exists it's on the dl right now yes indeed yeah. thank you for sharing that with me that was a pretty cool and it'll watch. be worth the wait that one's in steel. Yep. And then any plans for that one in titanium? We might actually start in titanium and then go to steel oh, really? later. We're going to do one iteration per year. Okay. So if we launch in titanium for 2025, it's going to be stainless steel DLC or just brush oh. finish hmm. in 2026. Right on. Um, it's hard to get the movements right now for the particular model. Okay. But, uh, 2025, early 2025, February, should be the timeline. For any of the watches you've released to date from, you know, you're in the coffee shop, you know, hey, I'm going to draw something on a napkin, to when it's on the website, ballpark me on the years. Is it two years? Is it three? Nine uh, months to 18 months is kind of the timeline usually. Oh, okay. Sometimes there's, like the GMT, for example, uh, started January of... 2023 so that one's a little longer than usual there's a lot more going on a lot of, uh, lot of moving parts so a lot of moving parts so uh, but uh, in general hmm. just call it a year plus okay. ish that's right not bad there. I thought it was gonna be longer yeah I mean we just focus on one to two watches in general per year but mm. uh, this will this will definitely allow us to focus mainly on sp specialized quantities uh, to fit our customers needs oh, awesome and so when you your first day day one at the company what, what did they have you what, what did they have you doing what are you doing uh, I was cleaning and organizing oh okay I was uh, not uh, I was not uh, permitted to do any uh, there were no products secret stuff secret <laughs> stuff it was just cleaning and organizing and just cool. actually those were probably my first year plus and uh, the roles just expanded over time oh. When did you take on the role of guru? Uh, maybe like 14 years ago. Oh, wow, man. 
Yeah. Got some laps on the block. Yeah, just when I was like, I could answer any question that comes to me. I was like, okay, I've finally hit a, a specialty a point. What do they say? Every uh, 10,000, you got to do something for 10,000 hours yeah. to uh, become proficient at something. Yeah. Uh, I would say uh, I've exceeded that. Oh, right on. Yeah, that's fun. Like, um, how many people work at County Com? How big is the org? Uh, so the warehouse side, front office side is around 10 right now. And then we have our machine shop side, which is around 82. 82 people? 82 people at two locations. Wow. So... Uh, are they just yours or are they doing machining? They're just them? doing our stuff. That's wow. It. So we have a whole timeline for everything set up, about 100 moving projects at a time. And I have no idea the scope. And when someone says, hey, why isn't this back in stock? Because it's slated for three months out on production. And because uh, you have to get everything all set up for each production run, get all the raw material in just for that. Yeah. And uh, you know why it works, don't you? Because you were cleaning and organizing. Yeah, all you gotta <laughs> gotta be all organized and get everything all perfect. I had no perfect. idea you were 82 deep on machining. Ugh. Well, I guess you. I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because of the larger scope of what it is you're doing, which is the the government orders and you know the fun stuff that I like to buy. And I guess I should not be surprised, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, like grappling hooks has been an ongoing thing since I would say maybe 18, 19 years. I love my grappling hook. I haven't used it practically yet, but my buddy did. He. Uh, he put it into his hiking pack. Oh. And he was on a hike and his trekking pole, I don't know how it got off of his hand, but it, it fell down the hill. He used the grappling hook to oh. pull up his trekking pole. Well, that's perfect application right there. I was like, why was it in your bag? Uh, he was ready. I think he just threw the hiking <laughs> pole off to the side just so he could pull that out. <laughs> Be ready to go. I wish I was there for that because he's an epic climber. So it was, it must have been a super steep grade if he didn't want to risk it. But I actually bought that for him as a birthday gift one year because uh, we saw it on the website. And it was, it's a funny thing is you, you don't see grappling hooks just anywhere. You're not going to see that. Not at Walmart. <laughs> not at Dick's Sporting <laughs> Goods. It's like, hey, where do you keep your grappling hooks? What? No. But countercom.com, that's where you get that. Yes, indeed. Three sizes. Yeah. And I do like the... I think you put on the website, it's not a secret, that those are used to pull... Trip wires. Trip wires. Power lines or just trip wires? Trip wires. Okay. Yeah. We actually have images uh, that were sent to us from military uh, personnel where it actually saved their lives and saved their limbs. Uh, oh, where there's right like on. little craters in front of them and it was yeah. like 10 feet in front. Yeah. And they just saw a little... Little, little hairline, hairline thing. string, and they just pulled it from a distance, and yeah, this has happened that on several occasions. Up. If it saves a single person's life, mm. it's worth it. A single person's life, or a single trekking pole? Yeah, or one. a single trekking pole. Whatever works. I can't believe he was even... Gee, Money, why were you even using a trekking pole? I've never seen you using one before. <laughs> All right, so, in summation, what are you most excited about with what's coming next Ooh. at County Con. Uh, it's actually, I'll tell you what I'm most excited okay. about while you're gathering your thoughts. So, in true hobby of ours fashion, uh, I was tinkering with some of the stuff I ordered, and part of the reason I came to see Mike today was to share an idea with him. I can't talk about it yet, he's still mulling it over, but it is indeed watch-related. So, who knows, might have another collab uh, at some point and when that happens we'll of course be dropping the video we'll be getting our world famous county Com giveaways going again and uh, share the love share the hobby so that's what I'm most excited about How, uh, you, you've had plenty of time Mike what are you yes. most excited about I would say it's a product that came in yesterday uh, it's like ready to go it's called the Com L bag and uh, it's X pack it is a work of art it is holds your laptop communication gear wires cables everything it's just a, a perfect go to EDC bag. No. Uh, it's like a, a tote, almost, a tote size bag. Tactical tote. Tactical tote, exactly. But uh, it is a work of art. It is beautiful. And. Uh, Going live soon? Very soon. Uh, we just posted pictures and everything of it yesterday. So it is very exciting. Um, 
It will be launching very soon. I have a, I'm going to be doing a range day. And because uh, I bought one of the, uh, I don't know if it was called an ammo bag, but it is going to be used for ammo. It's one of those Robusto bags, but it's the one with the zipper. Mm -hmm. And so stay tuned for that video. I, uh, I'm probably going to go to the range with uh, one of my buddies. And you could probably carry four bowling balls in that bag. <laughs> We're pulling in for a bite to eat, getting some lunch. Look out for the speed bumps. But I want to say thank you to Mike, not only for making the time for the video today, but also for your partnership, sir. Thank you uh, so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, absolute pleasure. Hope you enjoyed that little visit with Mike we had in Sunnyvale. Such a blast uh, to hang out with him and talk watches, talk all sorts of stuff. And, uh, you know, kick off this massive giveaway extravaganza with the phrase that pays. And the phrase that pays is my favorite part of any video. Yo D, I'm in the XYZ. XYZ is your country. I need to know where I'm shipping to. Yo D, I'm in the XYZ. I need you to hook me up with the good ones. Uh, drop that in a comment to me to this video and I will get you sorted out and uh, entered into the contest. So basically hit me up downstairs and uh, we will sort you out, get you some of the best spring bars going out there. You know, spring bars you can trust for all of your watch strap needs. Thank you so much, Mike, for your partnership, for sponsoring this giveaway. And thank you so much for coming along on the ride in this wonderful, beautiful hobby of ours. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. If you'd like to support the channel, head over to hobbyofhours.com. We've got artwork, coffee mugs, hats, t-shirts, and even a watch book. 1001 Watch Designs, Volume 1. Over a thousand designs in here. Steampunk, super futuristic, kaleidoscope, even super real ones. Watches that you could probably put on your wrist today. It's a great way to support the channel. Arby's, we have the meats. Arby's has the meats. Countycom has the good ones. <laughs> Did you know that Vig Raves is the voice of the Arby's we have the meats thing? I didn't even realize that until I started researching this episode. Arby's and <laughs> Countycom, we have the spring balls. The good ones.